Good afternoon. It's Friday the 24th and it's um, 2.20 GMT. Um, and I was just looking at my account history and it hasn't been too bad a week, actually, which was um, quite a surprise to me. Um, so I'm just looking here. Started the week with a loss of minus £5, got plus 10, plus 20 and a minus £6.30. So not too bad. Um, going in the right direction at least for the week. Um, I'm just going to go over the trades. Um, this is an order I've got waiting to go. Um, so try and ignore that if you can. Um, I took a short on this euro dollar. Uh, this was the minus, most recent that one, the minus six pound thirty one. Um, and I shorted off this level here. And um, if I drill down to the one hour, you can see what happened is I had my short at the low of this blue uh, rectangle with a stop at the top and it hit my stop and now it's gone down. And looking at it on the four hour again, I realised that it's not a great supply level. It, you know, it really sort of originated from this bar. And then you can see it's been tested near enough three times, once, twice, three times. This is, I suppose, the third or fourth time being touched. The other thing is that price let stayed in this area for quite a long time. It, there were quite a lot of bars going all fizzling around here, you know, and then finally dropping. Um, uh, so there wasn't a huge supply demand. There wasn't huge conviction selling here. Whereas this one, I feel far more confident about because there's a very sharp pivot high to solid drop. So I think this is going. There's going to be heavier selling at this level, um, where I've got my sell limit order set. So that one, um, this trade uh, triggered here. Stop was triggered here, and is interesting because because it had been tested so many times. Uh, this fake break sort of happens. It gets tested and. It's still reversed, and I would have got my profit target, but um, because it wasn't a fresh level, I imagine there that it was something that I'm noticing. It's not that I'm imagining. Um, it's something that I'm noticing that on a level it can still work, but it um, it often gets it gets faked out, and you get stopped out on it if it's not as fresh as possible. Um, moving on to uh, the euro yen trade. This was the short I took. So this level we can see is a far fresher level. It it stayed here for fractioned th three or four bars and then dropped very hard off it. So when I took a short, when it reached back up here, it did exactly what I thought it would do um, and behaved. And I didn't get stopped out. And I'm trying to make the distinction in this video that because this is a fresh level and because it was a sharp turn. Uh, the supply came in very hard and fast. Um, I didn't get fake breaked here or stopped. Um, uh, so, so, so that's it really. That that's that's the main distinctions. Um, I st still got a sell limit open on the pound from much earlier this week, um, all the way up here, from this solid drop to consolidation to solid drop. Um, and despite this consolidation being Quite a few bars because it's fresh and because there was it's in a downtrend and that there's this solid drop off it. I still think there'll be some selling coming in, and I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, and you can see that I've set my take profit just above this high wave bar here, um, as I think that's probably where it will turn. So um, th that's about it. Is there anything on the anything else? Euro yen. I maybe set a sell limit up here, but I'm not too sure about this. I'm not sure how how. How much I like these um, price action here. If it's um, solid, strong enough, is what I'm sort of trying to say. Um, it is in a daily level of supply, so um, possibly I'll have a think uh, think about it probably over the weekend. And I'll, I will now actually shut up and um, call it a day. Bye. I just wanted to add, despite saying see you later just now, whatever, um, that. This is the next week is the wedding week. I'm getting married on Thursday, so I don't know how often I'm going to be on this, if at all. Um, and and that's it, really. So there might be a hiatus. Um, and I might even even if I do put some trades on, I'm likely to just put them on. I might just put them all in one post as saying I'm 
pretty much swing training at the moment. Um, it's probably a bit easier just to do it that way. Anyway, um, I'll leave it at that. And now I really will be quiet. That's it. Done. Um, and see you probably in a week. Bye, guys.